tutorial about this uh, effect VST called D blue glitch now I was going around on YouTube trying to figure out you know um, how to use this VST and how to how to add the effect to the beat that you're making and uh, I wasn't seeing any clear um, tutorials on how to do it so I eventually had to dig in and learn how to do it myself so for those who uh, who might not be as lucky as I am I'm making this quick little five minute tutorial and I'm gonna show off one of my beats on top of that um, before I do that I wanna I wanna let everybody know you can like me on Facebook, like my, my music page on Facebook, J Star Status Productions. And uh, if you like my beats, you know, contact me however you can. But anyway, now back to the tutorial. So, there's this thing called D Blue Glitch. Now, D Blue Glitch is an effect VST it helps you add effects to your songs it's like uh, I'll just show you alright I made two different effects there's uh, as you can see there's tape stop, there's modulator there's retrigger, shuffle, reverser crusher, gator, delay and stretcher now for this specific song that I made, I only needed tape stop. Re you know, I, I, I try to use whatever made it sound a little better. You know, I'm trying to spice up the track a little bit. But this is my first uh, sequence that I made. <laughs> you want it but um i use the retrigger and right after the retrigger i use uh tape stop and uh depending on the length of the tape stop is how and uh your slow down and your speed up is how the tape stop is going to sound so you you are going to have to do some editing depending on your track or you can use leave it as default depending on how you want to do it as the producer so, and then I used the reverser as the track was getting back to regular speed. Now for the second, I just wanted to do something a little more funkier. So, this is how that one sounds. Now, as I made 
made this song, I didn't really know. I didn't really know where the best place was, but I, I, I feel like the places that I put this, the first one was the the best place, the best two places rather, and um, the second one I haven't. This song isn't really finished, but I haven't figured out a good place to put it. But I'll let you guys hear how it sounds, and then I'm getting to show you how to even add the effect to. Um, to your beat you can do it two ways you can do it after you uh, after you export your song I, I suggest that you export your song into uh, a WAV file because that's the uh, that's the most highest uh, quality format that you can put your song at maybe you might um maybe you might want to even increase the uh, this right here, the bit rate. You might want to increase the bit rate, maybe around. I mean, it's gonna take more space, as you can see. As you as this bar goes up, you can see how much this space it'll take per song. So, or well. This is this is just this is not the full song. It's not seven seconds, but you know the full song will probably you know be around. I'd say maybe close to for this song maybe like close to twelve megabytes, you know. But but the the sound quality will be good. So that's what you want to do if you're gonna do it that way. But this way. To do it this way, I'm gonna let you hear a little bit of the song, and I'll get it, get to that. I know that's what you're dying to to know. So. place where I put it so I gotta do some more editing and figure out what I did wrong but how to get it on the board this is how you get it on the board and nobody really showed me how to do this I had to figure this out myself so very bad very very bad tutorial teachers out there now a lot of people probably might try doing this clicking the knob going to uh, create automated clip and then you get this blue bar right here and this blue bar is not going to get the effect of this or certain other VS effect VSTs that you want it's not going to get those effects in there the reason why is because it's the mixed level envelope it's the mixed level envelope it's the wrong colored uh, effect bar so what you need to do is not click the knob is to click this little thing right here this thing right here this thing right here this thing right here this thing same thing how same thing with these that's how you turn them off and on 
this thing right here. Click that automation clip, and then bang. You get this green colored bar. It's the green bar. The green bar. The red one is for volume. The green one, I'm assuming all the green ones are for effect. And then there's purple, and then there's blue. I don't really know what all the colors are yet, but it's the green bar that you want. The green one. Alright? The green one will let you cue them in. Cue the uh, the effect in when you need it. And uh, once you get that, once you get that, down is off. Down will keep it off. As you can see, down will be off. And once it goes up, that's when it's on. So as you edit your, your track, you're going to leave it off until you want the effect, which for this one is this, until you want this to actually happen. And then that's where you put it. You, you edit it for it to turn on. Now, you right click to create these little dots. Or else you only, you'll just have like one dot here and then stretch across. So you, you click, you right click. Look, I'll delete it and I'll put it back. You right click to create this dot wherever you want it, however you want it, and move, you know, flex the bar a little bit to edit it in whatever way you want it. And pretty much, this is how mine sound. <laughs> the second one is on I don't know why the second one turns itself on but I'll fix that later on and at the end of the video I guess I'll uh, leave a sample of the song that I'm making right now but that's pretty much how you do it that's the end of the video right there it's this it's this little dot right here on off on off this automated clip with that that and that will probably work for whatever uh, effect that you're trying to uh, pull in and out. Like uh, maybe, let's say, tape stop. Tape stop as well. Automate the clip, not the knob. Not the knob. Don't click the knob. You click this green button. After you you know create whatever effect that you want on the VST if you if you don't want it to play all the way through or if you don't want it on the master track because some people might not want it on the master track you might just want it on one of these things right here like you might want, want it on one of your, your instruments instead of just a master track don't be foolish and put something on the master track that you don't want on the master track like a recording and then uh you know, try to edit it with the VST. You know, you'll, you'll, you'll screw up the whole track. Just try to know what you're doing. Recordings go on their separate mixer area. I don't really know the term right now. Okay? The master track is for everything. Everything. Any effect that you're putting on it on the master track is going to happen to the whole entire song to the whole thing this is why you need to know how to automate the uh, the effect that you put on there so it doesn't play on the whole song it doesn't keep looping and happening to the whole song All right. well that's it once again please please if you watch this video and you like my beats, please go to J Star Status Productions. Like my page. I need the love. I just, you know, I saw I made this page uh, a while ago, but I just really wasn't doing much to it. And now I'm trying to reach out to people who are like me. Trying to, I made this page uh, to kind of show off my beats and, uh, you know, 
I guess to have things, I don't really know. But, uh, and then, yeah, and to uh, reach out to people who, who are trying to come up, like I was trying to come up, you know what I mean? Trying to learn how to produce and, you know, who love music and want to hear what I'm doing. So, I haven't really been doing much on it, but I, I got to stop slacking and, you know, I'm trying to do it. So, if you like my beats and you want to hear more from me, uh, holla at me. You show me love and I'll probably show you love on my page. Alright. Um, what else? Do I need to say anything else? Nah, that's pretty much it. Alright, so, you know, like, comment, share, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you.